Unknown Ninth Awakening is one of those titles that we will one day look back on and wonder what might have been. While there was a fair amount of hype around the time of their announcement, that quickly started to fade. Sadly, there are a number of reasons for this. Poor visuals and broken gameplay are at the forefront of this disappointment. That is on top of the boring combat system and disappointing story. However, for the few who might not know, let me just run you through the description of this title. It is described as a narrative-driven action-adventure game that blends elements of mystery and supernatural abilities. Released on platforms like Steam and published by Bandai Namco, it features an expansive storyline set in a richly detailed universe. Reviews note its resemblance to AA games from the late 2000s, highlighting its narrative depth. Despite some critiques of its generic story and gameplay mechanics, it offers intriguing ideas and a compelling narrative structure. For those interested in immersive storytelling and supernatural themes, Unknown Nine Awakening presents an engaging experience within its fictional universe. Now that certainly is a good description. Unfortunately, the reality is a bit more grim. The Metacritic score is currently sitting at a mediocre 64%. That score is from the critics. The user score is at a disappointing 1.9. One reviewer wrote, while the abilities, setting, and Anya Chalatra's performance shine as strong points in this game, the overall experience falls short of expectations for a $50 AA title. Although unique and visually engaging animations stand out, they often clash jarringly with the gameplay, making transitions feel unpolished and alpha level. The gameplay itself is overly simplistic, with repetitive, easy puzzles. So much so that even a two-year-old could assist. The lack of challenge and refined mechanics makes the experience more chore-like than enjoyable. The game feels like an unfinished proof of concept rather than a polished product. The developers must fix these issues before focusing on potential spin-off content. The reviews from mainstream outlets are not much better. They all follow a common theme centered around a boring story, disappointing gameplay, and overall brokenness. IGN gave this title a 5 out of 10, stating in their verdict, Unknown 9. Awakening is the kind of routine action-adventure game that probably wouldn't blow me away even if it was executed well. And the fact that it isn't just makes the whole thing fall completely flat. Everything from the formulaic story to the shallow and dull combat and stealth are well below the standard set by genre peers. And the consistently disheveled performance and bugs don't do Awakening any favors. There's at least some fun to be had in its interesting reality-bending powers, especially the mind-controlling abilities that let you briefly play as your foes and sabotage the enemy in clever ways. But these bright spots run their course quickly, leaving us with a wholly underwhelming adventure. For many, this title does not belong in the current generation. Many describe the game as taking them back to the Xbox 360 days. That is not the compliment that you might think it is. PC Gamer in their verdict also pointed out, the game will likely succeed or fail on whether these systems are properly fleshed out or not. Did I like what I played? Yeah, it was pretty good. Slightly better than fine. But it's not going to set the world alight, which it probably needs to do if this whole transmedia push is going to work. However, it is worth pointing out that not everyone feels such gloom for this title. In fact, some think we need more of it. GamerHub is one of these outlets that states in their article titled, We Need More Games Like Unknown Nine Awakening. The game is not always successful in achieving its primary goals, but in its approach to storytelling and character building, Unknown Nine Awakening certainly has something special. It's an unpolished gem, but a gem nonetheless, and it should be given a chance to shine. However, they also point out that most simply do not like the title because it has a female lead. That, in my view, is a cowardly way of looking at things. In their review, they highlight the game's brokenness. I do not know why they would want to play the sex card given the title's state. I am sure there are some who dislike the title for that reason, but it is not enough to ignore all the other reasons. GamerHub, however, does make an interesting point when it state, are we at a point where games can only be AAA and need to sell millions and millions of copies to be profitable? Are well-funded publishers only looking to release the next big thing? Are we already past the point of sacrificing creativity at the altar of money? If we are, it's a sad fate for games. 
It's a sad fate for creativity. Why shouldn't a game like Unknown Nine Awakening be given the chance to shine? As a tight 10-hour adventure with a cast of likable characters and an intriguing and layered plot filled with ambition, it makes a strong impression. Appearances aren't everything. And if you're looking to return to the past of gaming, to indulge in some warm nostalgia, then Unknown Nine Awakening is certainly a game you should consider. I do understand the point that they are trying to make. Not every game needs to be a AAA title. We have seen enough of those disasters. Having smaller titles not centered around monetization is a positive. I can certainly agree with this. AAA has been a disappointment for some time now. I always feel that large corporations like Ubisoft and EA no longer service the fans. They only have one objective, to make as much money as possible for their investors. As long as the stock price goes up, nothing else matters. Thus, everyone is trying to get that golden goose. That means the title can forever generate money. They will push out half-broken games with endless deluxe editions and DLC that should have been included in the base game. That is in addition to the in-game purchases you need to do. If smaller games that do not chase that profit margin can start filling the market, I am all for it. However, it is still the big studios that are making these titles. Sadly, they do a poor job with it, and then it fails. Studios then learn the wrong lesson by thinking that these titles are too big a risk, and they revert back to the live service models. Instead, they should review why these smaller games fail and work on improving those elements. People are underwhelmed by Unknown Nine Awakening because of the gameplay and story. Fix that, and I will agree that more titles like this should exist. Not titles that follow the same story, but lesser known games that are not solely focused on the monetary aspect. Unknown Nine, Awakening might fail to achieve this goal, but hopefully the next release won't.